Nimbin, was it? I'm Quabot. I help islanders who have been enthralled by the code to return to their former lives here on the island. It's not an easy task, but I do what I can to help those wayward souls find form of normality again. In speaking with others in the village, I've learned the locations of Dread Monolith of the Vile Tongue. I can point you towards it if you need. Where is it? Recently, the Hunter Guild has, was able to retrieve a group of villagers who had been enslaved by the Kopu. One of them, Owen Reeves, was forced to work on the island to the south, where he says the Kopu were guarding some magical artifact that would be the curse monolith you seek. I'll let Owen know you'll meet him on Crab Island. He'll be able to tell you more once you have arrived. I'll go to Crab Island. All right, we're going to try our 10. We did our 10 on the first one. It wasn't too bad. Oh, boy. Oh, big crab. I got 148 reaper points, so I should be safe now. I thought that said fried co-pru at first. <laughs> Kentucky fried co I'd like to order some fried co please. Chicken. The chicken of the Isle of Dread. Alright, so the shipwrecks to our right corner, or over our right shoulders. Go ahead, Nim. You arrive on the shore. All right. I wish I could do the one. In the distance, you can see the Kopu's encampment. Greetings, Nimmin. Was it? I'm prepared to meet you here. Before we have my tether to the Kopu Grove, I was forced to work as a guard in the island. Destroying the curse model will be no easy feat. Not only do you have to other thralls to fight, but the Kopu themselves will be watching, not to mention that crab itself. Wait, a crab? Yes, the first monolith is protected by a gigantic crab viewed with Kopu magic. The ritual has granted the crab the power to shield itself from and the monolith from harm. The mobilizing the beast is the only way to disable the curse, but you cannot injure. It is with the noble means. What should I do? The Koku have a countermeasure to control the crab that it goes berserk. They have a set of ballistas aimed at a creature that are powerful enough to shun the crab and break the Koku spell. While it is done, both the crab and the muddle up are unprotected, and I may just need to redo the spell. It doesn't sound like the most shell plan, but the crab is unusually pretty docile. Usually pretty docile. I think there was only one time since I had been there, there that they needed to use their ballistic shutters. Once was uh, more than enough. Thank you for the advice. Owen Reeves informs you that the, the curse monolith, monolith is protected by a gigantic crab. crab. Yet the Kopu also fear the dark energies protecting the crustacean, and so they have developed a defense mechanism to wrangle the beast. There's pterodactyls in the distance. Nimbin, do you have the DM audio on? Of course. Okay. Uh, I don't want. I want to make sure you're not talking over the DM dialogue when you're doing uh, doing the reading the dialogue. All right, director. All right, and here's your motivation. The Isle of Dread, it's just been released. You're super excited. It's the most, it's the greatest day of your DDO life. All right, I'm in. Receive the attunement from the Curse Ward Monolith. Infiltrate the Cobra encampment. Oh, the encampment's over here. Oh, I see. Sai, what, what does your elf eye see? <laughs> we have four mobs. Mortal pool. We got a fear reaper, too. 
There's your rebirth. Let's go. You approach a group of guards who stand at attention before the gate. When they see you, they charge forward. Wow, these oh, bottles are really unique. Really good job on the model of this SG. Cope Ruth. Enter the natural stone enclosure. Inside, you notice four ballistas along the perimeter, each aimed at the giant crab. Behind it, you see the curse monolith in the hands of a tall statue. You overhear a conversation oh, no. between the so lieutenant and a guard. Says the Kokru. Make sure the beast remains calm. This is the star of the monolith that carries on it. We cannot let it remain unprotected for even a minute. The Kokru suddenly turns toward him. Intruders! We cannot allow them near the ward. Minions! Holy crap! Seven thousand damage. After we take care of these foolish fatality. A mystic barrier shifts. Okay, so the crab has to get hit by the bullet. And bars you from exiting the arena. The rogue hits the ground with a very simple puzzle actually to do. The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beasts. Mind Seeker? I was hit by mind, something called Mind Seeker. Along with a slew of reinforcements, the crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. We have a Venji. your chance to immobilize the beast. God dang. Ooh, that crab hurts. Minus seven eight. Ready for race. There's a circle around the crab, guys. You gotta be aware that's where it does damage. The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. It's all you, Sai. Actually, gotta save it. Kill that vengeance, man. You got it far enough away. Good job. Throw me a raise. Got more shit coming in. Right, coming in. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now you. is your chance to immobilize the beast. Walk nights. Oh. So They're when it rears up is when you can strike them. Yeah, yeah. just have the puzzles done and get things ready. But we should show the monster yeah. for them. Did that thing mind blasts me again or whatever it did. Holy it crap, I can't survive that. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. He's doing 7,000 to me. It, maybe spell absorption is his clutch in here, maybe. It did 12,000 on that tip for me. Put on your spell absorption, guys. Maybe that'll work. Crab emerges from the sand. The it the rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize. So we just got to hit three. Ready for race. All right. I forgot to get my red, our resurrection scrolls, but I do have red dead. You know, if you're ready, come in. The crab emerges from the sand. Put on spell absorption. Ready for raise. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. Maybe we should just ignore the red name and beat them where Syax is doing the thing and we handle the crab first. I'm I'm down for that plan. Syax seems super safe. It, it does seem like this is a safe spot. The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. I took 1100 in here. You can outrun.
run her orbs. Twave incoming. Ready for raising? The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beasts. Those are rather simple. Oh, yeah, we have to pull the lever. I uh, don't understand. The ballista's arrow clangs okay. in position, ready to fire. Let's have to suck it. Do we have to do that every time? From the sand. That's it tedious. Up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to immobilize the beast. I, I got mine ready. So we need to prep. Should we hit it all at the same time? No, we need to hit the. See, the crab will appear in front of one of the targets. And that will tell us which one needs to get pulled. Like right now, two needs to get pulled. So if you're on pull, two, pull it. You're on two, pull it. And we should hit them. The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to emote. Oh, you have to wait till he rears up, I think. Yeah. So get it reprepped. Everybody get on a ready to fire. Okay, it's number four is the one now that needs to fire when it says he raises his belly. The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, the exposing its belly. Now is your chance damage. to immobilize the beast. Number four threat. I think we have to wait until he rears up. So we'll get it next time. I think they're all prepped and ready to go. Wait till it rears Sorry, up. Number one. Okay, he's in front of number one. Oh, he, that Cobra is almost dead. The crab emerges from the sand. It rears up, exposing its belly. Now is your chance to Cobra's immobilize dead. the beasts. The Kopu lets out a garbled cry before slumping into the sand. So the well. bolt careens into the crab's underbelly, knocking it off balance and stunning it. The force fields surrounding both the crab and the monolith. Whoa, that was it. And that was it? <laughs> touch the monolith. Wow. I thought that was just going to be like the introduction to the. Oh, uh, goes down and I clicked on the monolith. Sorry. That's a quick one. That's like, that's that was like, uh, you know, Knight Who Cried Windmill quick. But that's cool. You got a shrine right there when you're ready, Syax. Like we got some breakables behind. Ooh, enchantment. Uh, augment. Click the crab again. The crab shakes out of its daze, riding itself with a great uh -oh. effort. Uh -oh. Upon sensing you, it raises its pincers to attack. There's an optional. We can defeat him now. I would never get a bonus chest. chest. About to find out. I wonder if we can shoot these ballistas at them again. Oh, good question. Science! The ballista's arrow clangs into crabs. position, ready to fire. Bring him in for him, choose him. Did he have number two prep? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to lure him over here. All right, All right, it's working to do nothing. No way to try again. Nah, just melee him.
big crab. Your final blow topples the crab. For good this time. Damn. Alright, give me a bonus here. Well, now, now we know. know. To never listen to me. A healing helm.